So I'm now in a position where I can define uh, the definition of uh, uh, algebraic stacks and algebraic spaces. Uh, so algebraic stacks and algebraic spaces. Okay, so let's. Uh, is that all I need? I just uh, I can. Okay, well, um, okay, so uh, let me just, so uh, I just, apparently I just start out with the definition. So definition, uh, so let uh, F be a functor from the opposite category of schemes uh, to sets. Okay, so, um, okay, so, uh, so, uh, F is an algebraic space uh, if and only if uh, the following three things are satisfied. F is a sheaf in the FPPF topology. Uh, the second thing is that this diagonal map uh, is representable. by a scheme. And the third thing that we ask is that um, uh, so there exists a morphism from uh, a scheme to F. Uh, uh, so this is going to be so in this situation uh, this is going to be H of U uh, which is surjective. And that's it. Um, so, uh, I, I, I guess, so this is the, this FPPF thing here, um, and I guess, uh, um, yeah, this is all we need, um, okay, so, so, one, so, it, I guess this is as a sheaf in the FPPF topology, so, okay, and, and so, uh, the one remark that I wanted to make is that, uh, remark, uh, so this is actually a theorem, I guess, but uh, one can replace uh, the FPPF site with the Atal site and get the same thing. Okay, so uh, that's that. That's that's what an algebraic uh, that's what an algebraic space is. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, tell you what the definition of a stack is. So, uh, so but first I need some notation. Uh, so, for, for you a scheme, or algebraic space, uh, we'll let uh, uh, you denote uh, the category, the, this, this uh, big uh, FPPF site associated to uh, you. Okay, so this is uh, just some terminology. Um, okay, there's also, um, there, there's, there's also this uh, 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 construction I need. Uh, so given a functor, uh, F from let's say so from some category to uh, these this schemes here over some some thing in the FPPF site. So I uh, I was <laughs> this is why I introduced the notation. Okay, so we should view this as kind of a, a, a this will be a stack over S. Okay, but it's really a category here, and so we're going to view it as a functor. Um, uh, so we can consider uh, uh, defines. Uh, this this f from uh, schemes over uh, s in the FPPF to the, the category of categories, and what we'll do is we'll take u here, and then we'll map it to uh, x sub u. Okay, so this is a um, this is a this is a construction, uh, and so this is what this is what we call the associated. Um, 
this this is this is called the associated fiber filter. So I mean, if we just took one off the street, um, like a random functor off the street, it's it's not clear that this will be a fiber functor. But uh, in the things that we're going to do, we're going to we're going to call it a associated fiber functor. So we're only going to consider things where this thing will be a, a fiber functor. Um, okay, so there's kind of two ways of going about stacks. One one way we could we could talk about like. Uh, uh, these fiber categories, and then the other ones is fiber functors. So um, I'm just going to do this since we've already talked about it in another video, and I, I think that this presentation is simpler. So this is not exactly what they do in the Stacks project. Um, so uh, so a functor. So let me let me give a definition. Um, they actually let me say this. They probably do do this somewhere in the Stacks project. I just don't know maybe where where they do say this. But they the preliminary definition is is a little different. Um, so okay, so a functor uh, uh, x to let's call this f is an algebraic stack. over u uh, if and only if it satisfies the following three axioms. One, uh, the, the associated uh, f is a stack in groupoids. Okay, so this is, um, uh, so this is the, the, the Definition of this the stack that we know. Okay, this is almost like a gerb, except for we don't have some uh, we don't have like a local triviality uh, uh, condition or like the existence of local sections. So it's it's gerby. Okay, um, so then uh, it, so so then we'll say that uh, well, well the other thing that we'll need is that we'll need that uh, this this thing here this diagonal map is representable uh, in algebraic spaces. So we need algebraic spaces to define stacks. I guess we don't need them, but we're going to use them. Uh, this is how they do it in this stacks project. I guess they, the, the part they don't do the stacks project is this one. Um, and so the other thing is that there exists um, some u, okay, so there's this covering condition in, uh, that's uh, an FPPF uh, object here, and a one morphism uh, from schemes over u uh, uh, to x, uh, which is uh, smooth. Okay, so uh, let me let me say this here. So this condition here, there's there's many flavors of this condition, and uh, changing what requirement you put on this changes what type of stack you have, like a Delim Mumford stack or an Arten stack, and these type of things. So I'm just going to do, um, so uh, so that, that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, so now uh, we have the definition of these, these weird objects, and I am now going to use them a little bit. Um, so if you like the video, let me know. If you want to see something, let me know. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I, I'm going to leave some links to some other videos. Hopefully.